on this episode of Around the House. Manuel comes back from San Francisco with a sweet surprise. And ready to earn his arrow of light, Gabe plans a backyard camp out. And it's the night before the girls' national clogging competition. And as we head over to Lagoon, the girls work hard getting ready to go on stage and compete. But of course we make time to stop and have some fun along the way. Pleased at how well they did, we come home and celebrate in the sprinklers. And why am I painting Gabe's face? Stick around and find out. from chocolate beans in San Francisco. It's one of the only stores in the U.S. who does their own chocolate from the chocolate beans instead of powder. Hey guys, are you ready to try some? Somebody open it. Daddy got home last night at midnight from his trip. And did you? I you guys haven't seen all the pictures yet. He got to eat really good food every day. So what was the name of this factory? It's not factory, careful, it's a careful. store. A store? No, store? What's the name store. of it? It's Dandelion's uh, Chocolate. Dandelion's Chocolate. Yeah, I know it's a box, but it opens super easily. So if you're holding it like Ooh, that. do turn. But you never know. Dandelion's okay. Small Chocolate. Small batch chocolate. Oh. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Oh. Oh, there's another oh, one in there. Oh, they're bars. They're bars. So let's see which ones are they. It's a tasting set. I can see them. So look, you can see where they're from. So this one is from Ecuador. The cup or the chocolate bean. The chocolate bean. And this one is from Belize, and this one is from Madagascar. If I remember right, I like the Belize one the best. Ooh, yum. Should we try the Belize? Just a little taste, everybody. Before breakfast, it's like what? I already had breakfast. Eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I think this is your seven. Seven thirty in the morning. Tells you where they're from. Oh, that's cool. And here's how you taste it. Right here. Here's your tasting instructions. Tasting instructions. Smell the chocolate. You smell it first. Take a swig of room. It says if you're just eating the jalapeno potato chips, you might want to clean, cleanse your plate palette. before palette. Palette, palette. Before tasting the chocolate, take a swig of room temperature water should do the trick. Smell the chocolate, take any aromas before popping it, the chocolate into your mouth, face the square. The joys of potty training. You think they've got it. You think that they finally have figured it out. Because... They go on the toilet so many times and they get prizes and you think they finally are potty trained and then stuff like this happens. Tatum, why, honey? Maybe because you drink too much water. We are on our way to Tatum's yearly checkup. He turned three, he had a birthday, so it's time for his well check appointment. Mom, Mom, Tim, Tim, and I told him all about the shots and now he's he might get shots. I can't remember at this appointment. He's not too excited, but he remembers that he gets a sucker. So I think everything's going to be okay. Mom, I'm scared. Tatum, are you ready to go in? Look at mommy. Let's go. Let's go see the doctor. Let's go see the doctor. Because Tatum's three, huh? Yeah. Say it again, what you just said. Those? They're not spicy at all. It says first you call the cream, then heat. There's no heat. Okay, the reason I got these is because it's Cinco de Mayo, you guys. Happy Cinco de Mayo. We're eating spicy Doritos. It's not really spicy. No more. Gabe, let me see your blue hair. Do you like it? Yeah, I'll probably do it better now that I know how to do it. You ordered more than just blue. You ordered lots of colors. Are you going to try them every I don't weekend? Know. It's blue, aqua. Pink. I don't know about the green or yellow. Um, pink? Yeah, there's hot pink. Hot and pink? Hot pink. Oh, here. 
Rose. Oh dear. Rose. Now what's the reason you want colored hair on the weekends? I don't know. I just oh, wanted to. Right, we gotta roast the hot dogs first. Let's just grab okay. a hot dog for now. Oh yeah. Mom, Let's mom, see, what do we got mom. here? Hawaii. Mom. Kentucky. Me. Carolina. Ooh. And Kansas City. Oh, these are your Oh yeah, we got different kinds. We got smoked sausage. Let me see this one. This one's apple, I think. This one's apple. I'll chicken. Apple chicken and then normal hot dogs. Yes. Yes. We're not allowed to eat those ones. Mom, so my, Get a kid's my friend not. already has color hair because he, he got born with red hair. Dad, oh, Mom. he has red Mom, hair. Why can't I get one of the adult ones? I'm an adult. No, you're not. Can I'm close. Okay. You know, can we? Red is... Gabe. Gabe. Oh, I have been playing with it. Gabe. Yep. Are you glad that you still had to pass off the camping elective at Scouts so we could do this? Yeah. Are you guys glad that Gabe has to pass this off because you get yeah. to benefit? And we get a sleep in a tent tonight. You better film that part. <laughs> I can't wait to see your skit. I'm excited to see your skit. Kaylee wrote it. The only part I wrote was the very last line because it was weird because it was like part, part, part. Okay. Again, honey? What's it called? Cats and two dogs. Okay. I'm the cat and they're the two dogs. Okay, let's see it. I'm watching you look hard. You're watching it. Yeah. You're my mom's mom too. Oh yeah. Watch. You're savage dogs chasing you. Let's become friends with the cats. They're setting up the tent right now. Thank goodness for floodlights because these two waited till after dark to set up the tent. So the kids are so excited tonight to camp out in the backyard. And I hope the neighbors are just as excited. <laughs> I volunteered to be the one in the tent with them, so. I'm gonna make sure they behave. But we have to get up early tomorrow because the girls have a dance competition at Lagoon. It's our nationals. And so this will be a short-lived camping adventure. And the girls are over there jumping on the trampoline in the dark. Tatum's wandering around. Oh, there's Gabe. <laughs> there's Tatum. This will be a memory they're always going to remember. Mom, every single time you say we're white to foggy, we're not white. <laughs>
It is.
So I'm the one who came up with this idea. I We've just made these up. before, but Gabe wanted to do like a miniature dessert version. And this recipe is actually on my food blog. Um, but we made this chocolate sauce to go over the top of these little miniature Boston cream pancakes. Look at that. <laughs> that is so yummy. So yummy. That's the money right there. Pretend I didn't make that one. Okay. Oh, look, Gabe made this one. Oh, the chocolate thing didn't go already. All right, taste it. No, I'm a slime. Alright, it's just gonna have to go down like eggs. It's like an, it looks like an egg sandwich. I haven't made it yet. Wished it was warm. It is warm, just because the pancakes are warm. Cold. The oh, pancakes pudding. are cold. Pancakes are cold too. any of that. I saw it out. I melted, I know, but I didn't use it. I melted three different kinds of chips, and then I put half and half, a little bit at a time into it. That's it. Then I put pure vanilla in the pudding. And then gave it. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm. Here comes mine. What is it? Oh. Is it you like? Mm -hmm. It's probably going to look worse than the other. <laughs> all right, all right, it's making it crazy. And he's over there assembling them all. Extra. <clears throat> okay, while he's doing that, I'm going to read you a little something about the wee blows. So, the rank of wee blows entitles you to wear the wee blow colors, which are, you can look at the neckerchief, they are red, green, and yellow. And green indicates knowledge of the Scout Oath and Law and signifies the learning of scouting skills. Red signifies the achievement of three activity badges and yellow, see these right here, they're right there. Yellow indicates you have been an active Cub Scout for the last three months in your Weeblos den and have performed many good turns helping your den, pack, and family. So good job on that, Gabe. Let's do the arrow with light. Okay, so go ahead and grab the pin. Here's the pin. And while you pin that on your mom, he's going to read what the arrow signifies. Does this one That one too, yeah. Lots of pins for the you gotta, you gotta keep working on your collection of those. Four yet to come. Okay, the arrow of light. Its shaft is straight and narrow. The path you should follow. It's, it's straight and narrow. The path you should follow. Its tip points the way. The way to success in all that you do. It's pointing to the right. A symbol that nothing should be left undone. The seven rays of the, of the arrow of light. Here. This is kind of what we're talking about here. So we got our seven rays here. The seven rays, the symbol of the sun. One for each day of the week. Every day is a new day, a day to do your best. Okay, so now we're going to do that fancy thing. And I have wet wipes too. Okay, purple. This purple represents wisdom. And the mom going to dip her finger in there and paint it on. This does not mean you are smarter than others, but that you will use what you know to become a smarter or to become a better person. You will seek the Lord's help in making choices. After red is orange. Red represents courage. This does not mean that you have no fear of danger. It means that you will face danger in spite of fear. You will be valiant in standing up for the right. Here. After orange. Is Orange represents self-control. This means that you will control yourself and understand.
understand that there is an appropriate time for everything, a time to work and a time to play, a time to learn and a time to teach. Blue represents justice. This means that you will be fair to all men and women. You will deal honestly with others and find no fault toward another because of the color of their skin or the beliefs in their heart. Oops, yeah, green. After green is yellow. Green represents hope. This means that you will hope for great things today and greater things tomorrow. You are willing to work to make your future become all you hope for. After yellow is white. Yellow represents faith. This means that you have a belief in God and you trust in all things that you cannot see but which you know are true. Your faith is your compass in life. And lastly is white. This represents love. This means that you see love in all the world around you. You are loved by others and you love <laughs> others and show that love through service. Okay, so Gabe, we are super proud of you. What happened? Here is your arrow. Wow, perfect. Archery, shoe, arrow, and shell, bullseye. Okay, that is perfect for this one. Okay, guys, pretend you have a bow and an arrow, and ready? Pull it back. Bullseye! Bullseye! Good job. All right, Gabe. Awesome work. We are super proud of you. There is an egg right there. Interesting. I'm gonna see you on Friday. I'll be back on Friday and then we'll play again, okay? Yeah, we'll go bye bye and then we'll play on Friday when I'm back, okay? Uncle, bye bye. Uh, but I am. Okay. Uncle, bye bye. Hey, what if I bring you something from Vegas? Do you want Daddy to bring you a surprise? Uh -huh. Like a treat? Uh -huh. Daddy's getting on an airplane. I get an airplane too. Next year. Next year we'll go to Germany and you can fly on an airplane for a really long time. Oh, I want to go in Italy. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Tatum. Please.
you, Daddy. Oh. Driving? Uh -huh. Do you like it? Uh -huh. You think it looks good? You think it looks good, Tay? Tatum. Tatum, why do you have pink lips? It's blue. It's blue? Uh -huh. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> She's going for a ride. So this is what I do when Manuel's gone. I clean. I don't know why, but I do more cleaning when he's gone than when he's home. <laughs> I actually washed all the curtains. I dusted everything, and while I was up there dusting the blinds, I realized how dusty the curtains were. And I realized that when I would dust the blinds, it didn't make a difference if there was dust on the curtains. So, I had to take the curtains off and wash those. Then I ended up washing and dusting everything, even the ceiling fan, which was awesome. Then, I dusted all the furniture. 
I dusted up high. <clears throat> I ended up scrubbing the entire bathroom. I scrubbed the entire tub. I even took the vacuum apart because I wanted to vacuum really good. And I took it apart the entire vacuum, took out all the screws and cleaned out all the junk in the vacuum. And then it did an even more powerful job getting everything out of the carpet. So I feel like this house is super clean, but I can guarantee that by the time Manuel gets home this weekend, it's not gonna look like this anymore. So I guess I just I just get to enjoy this all to myself. Sorry, hon. Okay. Your car broke, but you fixed it. Let me see. Let me see your car. Give me your Hummer. Give me your Hummer. Hummer car. Your Hummer car. So he's got these tires on here, and he took a wheel off and replaced it with a smaller tire. <laughs> Can you see that? The wheel on the back is smaller than the tire on the front. He took it off another car and put it on this one. And so he's like a little MacGyver. Like he is a little fix-it man. He replaces and repairs things and takes things apart. He um, picks locks. <laughs> he can pick locks. We try to keep things locked up and he finds a way to, I mean, we hide all the, any possible thing that could be a key and he makes a key every time. Okay, Tatum, show everybody how you open the garage. Show, ma show mommy how you open the garage. I'll open the garage. Yeah. He climbs things, he builds contraptions and ladders and he gets up high up to our cabinets. It's, it's a little bit scary. Show mommy, show mommy how you open the garage. I open the garage. Yeah. Show everybody how you do it. Open the garage, do it. Okay. He's got the stick. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Yep, good job. Okay, now close the garage. Close it. Close it. <laughs> All right, good job. Come inside. Yes, he cannot be contained. He can't be kept from things. <clears throat> he he just has a solution for everything. He thinks quick. He, he knows how to get out of a situation, how to get what he wants. He builds stuff. Hate. I broke a garage. Really? Oh, you broke the garage, but we got it fixed, huh? Because uh -huh. you opened it way too many times and the spring broke. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to give a car out. Is the door locked? Yeah. The office is locked? How are you going to open it? <laughs> what is that? Show me. Show me. What'd you get? What is that? Is that a magnet? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You are one smart, you are one smart three-year-old. Now you're going to lock it. What a nice boy. What are you guys watching? Barbie. Watching Barbie? Tatum, do you like to watch Barbie? Is that apple yummy? This is what we do on Fridays. <laughs>